The first football game I remember watching was the Miami Dolphins and the Washington Redskins, January of 1972. I was downstairs, and I was in my like room. We had a really weird uh, coastal house. It had no doors. It was called a Frank Lloyd Wright design. We had it was a flat house, which you shouldn't build in a coastal Washington State town where it rains every day. We had massive leaks, you know. And uh, I can remember being downstairs on this little black and white television. And I was born in January, early January of 1964. And in early January to mid-January of 1972, I was eight years old, almost to the week, I watched my first football game. Okay, and I've been hooked on football since. So go to 1972, it's 2015, and that's, that's, you know, you got your 40 years, four decades. And outside of Otto Graham, Johnny Unitas, and Sammy Baugh, who played, I think, in their bare feet. I actually don't think they threw the pigskin around. I think they actually threw a pig downfield, okay? I've seen every great quarterback play. Tarkenton, Staubach, Fouts, Bradshaw, Stabler, Namath saw him, Montana. Fouts, Elway, Marino, Young, Aikman. I've seen them all, and I've seen multiple games. Regardless of age, I've never seen a quarterback play this well as Tom Brady is at 38. And I hear people say, well, the rules now for offense. Yes, you're right. But not everything today works in the favor of the quarterback. It doesn't. Defensive players, bigger and faster. Defensive schemes, more well-coached. Defensive coaches watch more film and are smarter. Society in football now has more mobility. So you're constantly dealing with a new coach in and an old coach leaving, new receiver in, old receiver leaving. Society's much more mobile today. You don't play with the same wide receivers like Kenny Stabler did for 8, 10 years. You have no huddles anymore. Those don't help the quarterback. There's a lot of things here that don't, they hinder the modern quarterback. That's why of the last 61 taken, like four of the last 61 drafted are high-end quarterbacks. But Tom Brady in his last eight and a half games post deflate gate, 67% completion rate, 2,800 yards, a Super Bowl, 26 TDs and three picks. That's post deflate gate. I've, I've seen them all. I've seen them all play since 1972. He often plays in cold weather in Foxborough. Marino got sun. Peyton Manning got a dome. And think about this. Brady has thrown a touchdown, just a touchdown, not a reception, not a catch, not a pass. 58 players have caught a touchdown from Tom Brady. 58. Bette Midler had one. 58. You think Sammy Baugh had 58 different guys who had, he had to get his timing down with? Sorry. I mean, what I'm watching right now, everybody thinks everything helps the quarterbacks. Well, if that was the case, why aren't they all great? We've only got two great ones in the league right now. Rodgers and Brady are great. Then there's a lot of variations of really good. No, not all these rules. Not everything helps the quarterback. Now, no huddle. Got to be cognitive fast. Go, go. No huddle. No timeouts. Defensive guy is faster. More games. New coaches. New receivers. In and out. I I've never seen anybody play this well. And Brady's 38. I I've never seen it. All the upside, no downside. Hasn't had a deep threat for more than one and a half years of his career. It's a remarkable. I'm not a homer. You just sound dumb if you don't understand how hard this is. It's just incredible to watch them play. It's incredible. And he plays in Foxborough, where by next week, going to be hail storms and sleet storms. It's not a great place to throw a football. Outside of Chicago, it's probably the worst in the league.